Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. I'm Ariel with Digital Drafting Systems, and today we're going to be discussing customized markups and formatting styles. Let's create a linear dimension. Let's click on our length dimension, and we're going to be using an existing dimension that we created on our PDF from our CAD program. Perfect, our dimension is accurate because we've already calibrated our page. Let's click on it and move it up while holding the shift key to move it directly up from its origin. And now let's say that we wanted to take our text within the dimension line and move it above the line. Well, initially you'd think to select this yellow grip right here, but when you do so, you'll notice that the entire dimension moves together and it maintains its origins right here and here. So instead, we can hold our shift key and instead of clicking on the grip, let's click on any part of the text itself. And now we can move that text up. But you'll notice that there's an extension line connecting the text to the original line. In order to turn this off, we can go to our properties panel right here. And we can uncheck show caption leader line. That way, our text is above the line without any other extra stuff involved. Well, I didn't press the shift key, so I accidentally moved the dimension completely. So let's click undo. And now we can hold shift and move our text down. Perfect. Now our text is above the line. Let's look at some more properties that we can change. We can, of course, change the color of our text. Let's change it to a typical magenta color that we see in most drawings. And the color will actually change the color of the line, and the fill color will change the fill inside of the arrows. And the text color will, of course, change the text. We can also change the opacity of the text right here. We can make it very thin and very see-through depending on what kind of dimension we're going for. In this case, let's set it to, I'd say about, uh, well, about back to 100. And we can change our line width. Now, instead of changing our line width to such extremes, we can actually go and type in the box. For example, 1.25. That makes it a little bit thicker than usual. Here we can change our line style to different kinds of lines, including uh, different bash lines and so on. And we can also change how our arrows will look. So we can change our arrows to these architectural ticks that have open ends. And we can change our font to any kind of font that we'd like. We can even import fonts directly into Bluebeam. Let's use Times New Roman for this example. And of course, our font size can be changed as well. Let's now move our text a bit higher because it's clipping through the line itself. There we go. Click on our dimension again. And we can change our font styles. We can apply multiple font styles at the same time. Strike throughs if we need to show that a dimension is not going to be used any longer. So on and so forth. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. To see more videos about Bluebeam Review, please visit our website at ddscad.com. We hope you have a great day.